Thank you, Angela, and welcome. Oh, you're not unmuted yet. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I think you have to. Oh, there you go. Okay, good to go? Yep. Thank you, Angela, and you all, including you, Shannon, behind the scenes, are doing an amazing job. This whole thing makes me want to cry, even though I'm supposed to be speaking. Uh, thank you so much for allowing me to be your keynote speaker. I, I'm so honored and, and so happy to be a part of your celebration and your graduation. And to the graduates, I'm so sad we, your, all the staff and your teachers and your team at CSB had a lot of fun things planned that I was going to get to join you before all of this um, coronavirus stuff started. But because I wasn't able to meet you in person, all of your teachers have communicated with me and told me how awesome and amazing and spectacular you are. So I, I did learn a lot of really sweet, awesome things. I also really want to welcome the parents and the families of all the graduates because I, I think it takes a village as they all say and it's hard to be a parent. I am a parent of an 18 year old son who is a senior and going to have a Zoom graduation like you and a daughter who's in college and I also think it's especially hard being a parent of a, of a blind child that it's not easy to find a support system and it's not easy to find role models for your children and I, I know that was was a challenge for my mom and today I want to go through with you what I call Gina's gems and Gina's gems are principles of which I live my life by and I, I want to share them with you from what I heard from all your teachers though you, you share many of these gems that, that I use as my guiding principles the first one is there's always a way and, and I don't mean that in a cliche. I hate, I hate cliches, okay? So to me, I was born with congenital glaucoma, but I could see too well to be blind, and I couldn't really see well enough to see. I was totally stuck in the middle. So school was very hard for me. Kids are mean. I went to mainstream school, and the teachers didn't really know what to do with a visually impaired person. Uh, th things seem different now, but you're very blessed to have your um, network at CSB. And so I find my, found myself very isolated and I was very ashamed about being blind and I didn't want to be blind and I would hide my blindness. And so I just went through life that way. And when I was um, a junior in high school, my eyes were just continuing to get worse. Then my second um, Gina's gem is using and taking the road less traveled. So what that means to me is I took the road less traveled because I got out of high school a year early and I took well, took my GED to get out of high school and I and I went to college again completely hiding my blindness and I had I had poor vision then so one day I well I had everything memorized and there was a construction zone put up so I fell down technology talking I fell down a set of stairs and I and I um then I decided like I needed to get some help. So I went to the orientation center for the blind and that was an amazing experience for me. And I know all of you are going on a different path and some are going to Hatlin and OCB. And for me, that was a pivotal point in my life. The third Gina's gym is um, to always work hard. And so everything I've done every opportunity I've been given for work is I I just work really really hard and going back to OCB when I went there it was amazing because I met all like really neat blind people and really neat support team like you guys have at CSB and I thrived and I signed up for all these activities and I became a world-class downhill skier and that 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 changed my life and the next Gina's gym is to be ingenious. So for me, taking the road less traveled, being ingenious means I had to be super creative to get my job. So through skiing, I just took advantage of networking with a lot of people, even with my vision problem, because my industry is not welcoming to women, and it's definitely not welcoming to blind people. So through networking, I was able to secure an amazing job. And in that job, I did and have continued to work hard because I always feel 
like I have to prove myself and I don't like that feeling but I'm sure all of you graduates know know how hard things can be and that you do have to prove yourself for misconceptions in the world so the next genus gym is using tools and technology and you guys are so blessed to have all these skills and I want to um, encourage you to use all those skills and to keep up on your tools and technology because that using tools and technology has changed my life it's made me so independent and I travel independently around the world and anything I want to do I do and I would say that is directly related to my training at OCB and being independent and my tools and technology and the support staff that I I met at OCB um, I did want to say here too to the parents um, that I think it's taken it takes a lot of courage to send your kids to CSB and and to watch them grow and that they are thriving and to make sure you you don't really get in their way and that you keep supporting them and, and thriving them and, and they have to be brave and to all you graduates you do have to be brave and so that's just important an important principle the last principle that I want to share with you is that I am a woman of action and I think it's imperative that all of you graduates become people of action and that means you literally any idea you get you you don't let things get in your way and you don't get don't fall prey to people's misconceptions that blind people can't can't do things because you can and for me what I do is I set goals and I seek challenges and I love risk taking and those of you who know me on this call know I'm, I'm kind of crazy and so an example of that was one time I was having a really hard time in my life I was really sad, sad. I was kind of in a, in a funk and I saw an email about trying out for the US National Paracycling Team and um, I had tandem cycled but I was never a, a, a crazy competitive tandem cyclist so of course in Gina Harper style I signed up and I went crazy training and I got third place in the nation in the whole United States at the US Road Nationals and that principle of being a woman of action really I, I carry it through in, in everything I do and I think that it will change your life if you embody the that principle um, pretty much in closing I want to say that if you in your heart believe that there's always a way if you use the road less traveled if you are always ingenious in how you approach things if you constantly use your tools and technology if you always work hard and if you're always a person of action that you will have an amazing life now I'm gonna cry because I, I wish you all the best of luck in your endeavors and thank you Dang, I hate that. I hate it. It makes me want to cry. Thank you. Um, thank you, Janina. All right, we're going to have perfect timing.